Imagine a helicopter so versatile, so powerful, that it's trusted by nations across the world for missions that range from daring rescues in stormy seas to stealthy anti-submarine operations. This is the Augusta Westland AW-101 Merlin, a true marvel of modern engineering and a critical tool in both military and humanitarian operations worldwide. The Merlin isn't just any helicopter, it's a machine built for the future, designed to be effective in some of the most challenging environments on Earth. And what's even more amazing? The Merlin story began during a time of intense rivalry and high-stakes military strategy, shaped by the Cold War and the need for strategic defense. Stick with us, and by the end of this video, you'll know all about this impressive aircraft, from its early days as a joint British-Italian project to its current role in military and civilian operations around the world. Whether you're fascinated by aviation history, technology, or just the excitement of rescue and combat missions, the story of the Merlin has something for everyone. The Merlin's origins can be traced back to the 1970s, a time when NATO forces were preparing for every possible threat. With Cold War tensions running high, the British and Italian militaries saw the need for an advanced ship-based helicopter that could replace aging models like the Sikorsky Sea King. This new helicopter had to be fast, durable, and capable of both anti-submarine warfare (ASW) and search and rescue (SAR). In short, it had to be the ultimate multi-role helicopter, able to serve as a lifeline in rescue operations and a formidable force in defense missions. This joint vision led to the establishment of EH Industries in 1980, a partnership between British company Westland and Italian firm Augusta. Both nations would share the costs, expertise, and production, each benefiting from a state-of-the-art helicopter tailored to their defense needs. By 1984, the project had moved from ideas to a physical form. A full-scale mock-up was unveiled at the Paris Air Show, drawing global interest and setting high expectations. The official designation, EH-101, represented a new era in helicopter technology. The Merlin's initial prototypes, known as the PP-1 through PP-9, went through extensive testing. Each prototype had its own specific purpose, focusing on military or civilian applications, different engine types, and varying design features. The British opted for the Rolls-Royce Turbomica RTM-332 turboshaft engines, while the Italians chose General Electric CT-7-6 engines. Both provided the helicopter with outstanding power, enabling it to operate in diverse climates and demanding terrains. An example of the Merlin's versatility lies in its powertrain. With three powerful engines, the AW-101 has incredible lifting capability. This means it can transport troops, heavy cargo, and even perform medical evacuations, all within a single mission. But its design wasn't just about power. The Merlin was built with a sleek aerodynamic shape that reduces noise and enhances stealth, important features for anti-submarine and maritime operations. Its large rotor blades, designed in the British Experimental Rotor Program BRP, provide increased lift and efficiency. The Merlin's cabin was also carefully designed to maximize space and flexibility. It can be configured to transport 45 standing troops, or 24 seated troops, or even 16 stretchers for medical evacuation. The rear loading ramp is a particularly notable feature, allowing for easy loading and unloading of personnel and equipment. The Merlin's interior can be outfitted with specialized equipment depending on the mission, such as radar for detecting enemy submarines, advanced communication systems for coordinating rescue missions, and night vision capabilities for nighttime operations. With such versatility, it's no surprise that the Merlin found success beyond the UK and Italy. Nations like Canada, Portugal, and Denmark quickly recognized the value of the Merlin and adopted it for their own defense needs. Canada, for example, has its own variant of the Merlin known as the CH-149 Cormorant. This model is primarily used for search and rescue operations across the rugged Canadian landscape, where its range and reliability make it a perfect fit. In Portugal, the Merlin serves in the Puma Squadron, known for its operations over both land and sea. Portugal's rugged coastlines and frequent storms make the Merlin's advanced radar and navigation systems invaluable for search and rescue missions. Italy, of course, remains one of the largest operators of the Merlin, using it for a variety of roles in both military and civilian capacities. The Italian Navy relies on the Merlin for anti-submarine missions, where its sonar capabilities allow it to detect and neutralize potential underwater threats. The British Royal Navy has integrated the Merlin into several of its naval squadrons. For example, the 814 and 820 Naval Air Squadrons use the Merlin for anti-submarine warfare, patrolling British waters and providing a critical line of defense against potential threats. 
But what truly sets the Merlin apart is its adaptability. For countries like Japan and Indonesia, which face frequent natural disasters, the Merlin's capabilities in medical evacuation and disaster relief have made it a valuable asset. The Merlin is more than just a machine, it's a symbol of technological advancement and international cooperation. Each nation that operates the Merlin contributes to its legacy, adapting it to their unique challenges and expanding its list of achievements. The Merlin also embodies the evolution of helicopter technology, with features like composite rotor blades for reduced weight, an advanced GPS navigation system, and infrared countermeasures for enhanced defense. Despite its origins in the Cold War, the Merlin remains a vital part of today's world. Its roles may have shifted from direct combat to rescue and relief, but its purpose remains the same, to protect and serve, no matter the mission. The Merlin has transformed over the years, adapting to new challenges and proving itself time and time again. As new technologies emerge, the AW101 will continue to evolve, ensuring that it remains relevant for decades to come. So that's the story of the Augusta Westland AW101 Merlin, a helicopter that has not only served in battles and rescues but has also become a vital tool in disaster relief and medical evacuations. We hope you enjoyed this journey into the world of the Merlin, a true powerhouse in aviation. If you're as fascinated by military and aviation technology as we are, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We dive deep into stories like these every week, exploring the machines and the people behind them. Make sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video, and let us know in the comments what you found most interesting. Your feedback helps us bring you the content you love, and we'd love to hear your thoughts on what we should cover next. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more stories that reveal the extraordinary technology shaping our world today. Thank you.